you know, I played him in melee. Like, for example, he plays, he's pretty good at melee. He's just got really good fundamentals. I mean, his dash dance is really, really good. Um, you know, he reacts really well in neutral. He just has, he's the kind of guy you play him and you're like, yeah, this guy is just like, he's like tuned in. not fraudulent. You right. know what I mean? He, and, and he plays from the heart. It's all just yeah, like, he's yeah. tuned in. He's you tuned know? in. He's tuned in. I love that. Yeah, really solid, really solid gamer. I don't know Squibble as well. I can't say as many nice things about him, but I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. And, uh, okay. Here we go. I love, I, I will say, I love the parry, the parries uh, for, from Squibble. I think that's super impressive. Definitely. And I like his ability oh. to really oh. get those, uh, get the, you know, the, the, the down B is off the vampire hit, but it's not going to matter so far because Thunders again just knocked him off stage. We're going to see the triple light up airs, but it's not strong enough to kill. Yeah. And as long damage. as Thunders has any, it, it, the percent almost doesn't matter. As long as Thunders has a stock, he's just going to do this oh. every time. 44 at the time of death. That was insane. <laughs> Thunder's rain going up and over. It, it is funny in this game, of course, a game with no rolling, you know, when you're on the defensive. Sometimes you just have to jump and use your air dash in these, in these ways. And okay, find it off the top. Yeah, finally he's able to get that kill, but still an entire stock down. Oh, oh dear. Buddy. Tries oh, to go for buddy. the throw into the down air, but it's not going to land. Oh. oh, mashing out of that hit. I'm surprised he was able to get that down air out. We're going to see if Squibble can continue to juggle them around, but it, it really is, it comes down to a game of interactions. It, yeah. it, Thunders just needs less neutral wins to get the stock off. It's just science, bro. Yeah, that is that is just kind of how that works. All right, Thunders here getting a pop up. And she's, I mean, it's not, okay, Forder, and now you got to go high and ouch. Ooh. Giving Thunder so much respect on the strong up air, just drifting to his doom. Might have thought that he could land on that side platform that was all the way to the left and just barely dodged it. Yeah, it could be that. I mean, Squibble just, I, again, the pressure that Thunders exudes simply by existing. His aura is so threatening. Mm -hmm. It's like an anti-orbit just pushing out <laughs> distant planets. And there we go. At 47, he died. And then I think 44 was the second one. Really low percents. Yeah, Look at for this. Yuggle. Oh, Oy. my goodness. Three. Goodbye. Oh. Brutal. Lean stuff there from Thunder's Rain. All right, up a game here. We're going back to Jellyfish. Getting yeah. the launcher. Here's some forward airs. Uh-oh. I no don't know jump. if stage saves you here because it's like you don't want to go to Invasion. Uh, I don't think Harmonic Convergence is the play against the character with that long That horizontal. much range. Yeah, I don't know what the play is. Jellyfish is as good as any. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think you just need to make out plays on the ground game, right? You need to, you need to find a way in or around this range. Oh, that's going to be the slap. Good tech, though. I like it. The yeah. problem with that up B is that you only get hit once. So as long as Thunder eats the hit early, he actually can position to punish after. Because it's so long. Right. Yeah. Is the forward air going to try to go for the strong? Doesn't happen. Another light. There's the up, but he can't oh. get the kill just yet. Thunder's kind of forcing it. Oh, barely no surviving there. Yeah. And the up B, that's a tough one to punish. All right. I, I thought that was going to do it, but yeah, I mean. How did he not die? This is a turtle. The turtles are kind of heavy. He's at 140. What does he have in his shell? I don't know. Just bricks? Whatever Bowser has, I guess. I can't believe he didn't <laughs> die, dude. That was nonsense. Yeah, that was a strong up air. And Jellyfish, not a huge stage. Yep. All right, throwing uh, him off. Yeah, that, 160. Goodbye. They're gone. Throws him into the uh, underwater jet stream. He'll be taken away. Into the gulf. There we go. There's the big up B. Only 4% oh. on that hit. Oh. And Lucy's digging. She is digging. What's she looking for? What is she looking for? She got some bats down there, I guess. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, no. Oh, I thought that was going to be a ledge drop, ledge drop down air. Just building a sandcastle, I guess. Big I guess down so. air Oof. there. Well done to Thunders getting that stock. And he's only one away from going up 2 0. Squivel needs yeah. to figure something out. Gets the bite. But the down B is back on deck. The coffin is not going to connect. And a juggle from Thunder's Rain. Downer already. Mm. Squibble first to up B in so many spots that look kind of uncomfortable. You know, you yep. you can tell Squibble doesn't. Oh, oh wow. Well, I can't tell what Squibble's doing at all. No, uses going the ghost mode. Tries to go oh. up and get, get hit by that down strong Thunders. Despite looking a little shaky for a second, still dominates the game. Yeah, not even being taken down to his last sock in any of these games. Thunders is now one game away from taking the tournament in commanding fashion. And you can see here just how it happened. 
Uh, he was in ghost mode, so he's able to go invin uh, invisible for a little bit, and because of that, means that he can't be tracked as well. But Thunder's not to be fooled by his petty parlor <laughs> tricks. <laughs> That's right. I know where you are, wizard. Follows him all the way and catches him. Making Lucy Loud just look like a, a villain of the week there. <laughs> yeah. Who's your favorite Ninja Turtles villain? Go. Villain? Yeah. Ah, Shredder, I guess. Cringe. Name three. Do you even know any? Yeah, who's that guy who's the, he's in the stomach? Krang. Is that his name? I love Krang. Krang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Krang's Two isn't up. So, Sandy is up, bro. Who's I the love third Sandy. One? Give me a third one. Uh, Leatherhead. Baxter Stockman. Wow. wow, yeah, I don't know. You know the fly guy, Baxter, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? That's my guy. Yeah, all right. Put him in this game. We need more Turtles characters. Hell yeah. Ooh, close. Ooh. I love seeing Sandy, bro. She's funny. Yeah, the fact that we're getting it on game three of the Grand Finals is insane, though. I think it's just a mix-up. Sandy is a considerably, Go for something. yeah, considerably worse character. Uh, the way that you do oh <laughs> well, <laughs> extendo boots. That works. I think it's just a mix-up, dude. This character's weird. The way she flies through the air, yeah, it is. It is odd to catch her, and so much of Thunder's is strength has been oh my god this is kind of working in a weird way so far at least absolutely yeah i think it'll work uh i don't know if at it'll least work for a little while for, yeah i don't it know might if work it, for a whole, it might work for a whole game could be but you gotta win two sets you gotta Will win two sets for two sets right. that's the question yeah. but squibble definitely doing a new thing the way that you beat this is actually you have to rps it uh because sure. she's gonna drop into you the problem is not every character has the ability to rps it like quickly and punish so sandy's just doing this Liu kang bicycle kick yeah for every game it's actually not that uh, dissimilar to like the way Nigel plays with his right. dive pick, you know? Um, and yeah, I mean, with Thunders, he is trying to a lot of the time catch the opponent flying in in neutral. So the ability to kind of mix up how you fly through the air like that, uh, yeah, it, it, I, I see the merits for sure. Now Squibble just really catching. Oh, Dude, look at, did you see the way he was able to like definitely float above him? Yeah, yeah. Oh God, but he got oh, caught there. And no geez, matter who you thunders. are, that down air does not discriminate. Absolutely not. A 164 though, if Squibble can take the stock, just even a grab, someone near the ledge will do it. I cannot believe that grab is. I got the damage and another combo in the offstage down airs. It's another two stock against all odds, and Thunder's Reign is your main stage champion. It looked okay for oh. a second from Squibble, but I mean, Thunder, Thunder's game plan doesn't change who you are, right? It doesn't matter who you are. He's going to get you with those down airs. There's not really a character. <laughs> uh, there are very few characters that can really get around that, and uh, Squibble not bringing one of them to the dance. Thunder's is going to be your main stage 2021 Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl champion, uh, and, and it's not a question. It's not, indisputable. I mean, dropping one game in top four, not even sure how many games he dropped through the tournament. I'm sure it's not a ton. Jeez Louise. And look at that main, that main stage controller. Pretty. That is a thing of beauty. Yeah, I'll, wow. I'll go play him for it, bro. I'll, I'll beat him. I'll, I'll take you got him. this. I'll get him. You got yeah, this. No I'm question. sure he's got. He's probably got like a red and stimpy weakness. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, bro. Definitely. That's the character. That's the character. character. For sure. Yeah. Well done to <laughs> Thunders, dude. I mean, like, you could see just the dominance of the strategy, and, and it's the same thing that we saw with Oblina when she was terrorizing the game, where the down airs are really just what separate the good characters from the great. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. some characters like Aang, SpongeBob, they have similar things, but you can't get it as easily as Leonardo can. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the fact that, um, you know, he was taken off guard a little bit by the Sandy pick for, like, a stock, and I think this is a game, you know, Nickel Star Brawl, it's so fast-paced, it is kind of... It is kind of hard to make, you know, player adaptations or character adaptations. He, he got it done so quickly. I felt like he was right. he was caught off guard for like 30 seconds tops. Right. It it, you got to pump the brakes when it starts happening. You see Thunders ah, and Void celebrating. Void, again, uh, one of the top players in this game in a lot of people's minds. One of the best Ang players in the business. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, did not enter this tournament because he wanted to focus on ultimate. But you're right. They, they should talk finals it right now. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I, don't think, I don't think Void has played at all. I don't yeah, think he knows probably, probably not. at all. So he might DI out of it. And you remember how close that set was that they had. Yeah. Um, I think it was the first juice box uh, after the game came yes. out. That was, like, so huge. It was, like, the first... Thing. It was like a major. Really, it was like a major, yes. It was huge. It was huge, yeah. But um, these two are such great players, and I'm super happy that we got this event here yeah. at Main Stage because Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, I think, really does have a bright future if people just put their all into it because it's, it's such a fun game, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. Really cool to see it get the spotlight here 
Um, and and yeah, I mean, I I, I love uh, I love the interaction you know between like the developers and the community. I think that's right. really cool. Thaddeus, that's Thaddeus, the I love homie, Thaddeus, bro, Thaddeus yep. rules. And it, and it seems like you know it seems like there's a lot of uh, well they they iterate quickly, and I think that's right. what uh, that's what the community really appreciates right now, and um, cannot wait to see the future of the game, both in terms of the game itself and the way the develop the, the way the developers take it, as well as the players like Thunder's Rain pushing the meta. I mean, you're already seeing. Uh, compared to the early meta, where people, like you said, would just kind of hold W, hold forward, and sure. charge in with air dashes, uh, you see a lot more dash dancing now, a lot more, um, yeah, de like positional defensive play. In a game, where it is tough to play defensive a lot of the time, with the fact that you can't roll out of the corner, you can't, um, uh, <laughs> a lot of the time you have to get, you know, you have to kind of start your dash dance up, you know, you have to dash right. forward and, uh, and b before you really are able to dash dance in position like that, so, um, yeah, I love seeing the the amount of skill that the, sh the players are starting to show in neutral now. Mm -hmm. uh, the game has really taken a turn where it's looking like, you know, less and less spammy. Oddly sure. enough, I, I think there's a logical progression, right, where we're gonna hit like V3, V4, where it's like yeah. at, at at tier one, it's just spamming neutral air, right? right. Everybody's just spamming new uh, aerials. Then it becomes shielding. Everybody starts shielding because everybody else is spamming. Then it becomes air grabs. Because right. that's the one thing you can do to the shield. You act like you're going to jump in and, and spam neutral airs, and then you just... Yoink them. Yeah, and especially with how strong grabs are. I mean, like, I, I don't know about you, but when I first played the game, I was like, grabs kind of suck. I thought the same. I thought that. I, I was thought like, the same. this isn't doing anything to do so little damage, but it really is positional. Position in this game is fundamental. Yeah. Like, it's insane. Oh, and not to mention, I mean, we also saw, uh, like, Rose Day, for example, a lot of the time he would throw for the tech chase, right. right? And that was also really big. We saw like he would literally, I mean, that big comeback he made on uh, Andruvi, where he would get those throws thrown in the corner and then he would basically 50-50 the, the, the tech roll in or tech in place right. uh, and get a ton of mileage off that. So yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of different ways that offense can be structured, uh, which is cool to see. Yeah, Makes for a healthy meta. Right, and, and Thunder's definitely showing us uh, one way to do it just really trying to go for the positional advantage, trying to force your opponent to the corner, and then just getting those down airs. Because down airs, I mean, everybody else seemed to have trouble killing. You saw a lot of people living to like 150, 160, 170. That down air will kill you at any percent. Yeah. It doesn't matter how high or how low you are. If he's able to chase you down, you're gone. You're gone. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the offstage still so strong. I mean, I feel like nobody had the... Uh, the dominance offstage in those edge guarding scenarios the way Thunders did. And I mean, part of it is the, the character as well, but. Yeah, of course. I mean, so well deserved from him. Yeah. I, I, so much of it is just nobody had the answer for it. I mean, we've seen Lucy's, we've seen Ang's, but I think there's also a reason you don't see Leonardo's really tearing it up as much. I mean, there are people that play Leonardo. I mean, Zane was playing yeah. Leonardo for yeah. a little while uh, as well. And I mean, it, you know, you've seen talented Leonardo's, but I think Thunders is definitely head and shoulders just above the yeah. rest from what I've seen. Definitely. So he'll just keep it up. Uh, I know there's a lot of Slap City players at the top level that are going to continue playing this game and, mm -hmm. and pushing the meta. Um, it, it, but you're right in that how cool it is to see the developer interact with the community, listen to the community, but not really give in to all the, I don't know, there's a lot of casual, you know, I don't know how to put it, but people will sometimes um, overestimate how some characters will function. You know, right. and complain a little bit too much. Do you, you have any uh, good examples of characters that you feel like were overhyped or underhyped in one way or the I other? I mean, Oblina. Oblina I, I legitimately yeah. thought Oblina it was not... All it was was the 18-frame dare. If you hold uh -huh. center against Oblina, she can't... She she has to she has to commit to kill you. You saw what happened to Lucy? Mm -hmm. Like, the fact that mm -hmm. Lucy had to hard commit to get the kill, you had to get the down tilt into the up strong. Right, like, right, Oblina right. Oblina was right. good but not insane. Not on and that level. Yeah, and when yeah. You, once you got rid of the down air, which just, like, auto wins, I don't know. And, I mean, don't get me wrong. I know that Oblina has great players, like Armada was playing or uh, Albert. Albert. Yeah, uh, still there are some great right. Oblina players, but, like, yeah. I didn't. I, know, I don't know. I, I never thought that she was going to, like, take over, and then she got nerfed before, you know, too much stuff happened. So I guess Cat Dog, another character that somewhat looked incredibly strong when the game came out. Right. Cat Dog was just... Nobody thought they could get out of upstrongs. And then it's like, oh, I could it just... It turned out it wasn't a combo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's just, just a so big funny, move. Like... Right. 
it's it, you can confirm it, but it's like way less reliable than yeah. people thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's which fair. is which is sort of an issue. But I mean, we talked about this a little bit before we went on. Mm -hmm. I feel like the time bomb character. So I think that every game has like a time bomb character, which as the meta progresses, one of them just like boom, like seek an ultimate maybe right. to a certain degree. Yeah, can explode. I think it's Powder Toastman. I feel like at really? some point, Powder. To I mean, I've seen him kill at zero. Wow. I've seen yeah. him kill at zero. Yeah. Like. Uh, as people learn those confirms, the problem that he has is the recovery. Bar none, the worst in the game. It's oh, ugly. It is. It's bad. It's terrible. I would not want to be fighting a, a, a player like Thunder's Rain, I think, unless I was really confident that I could kill him off the top. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah. yeah. What are you going to do about that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, really excited to watch more of. Uh, I know there's a. Um, I know there's a Powder Toast Man player, I think. Something else, what is that guy? T Tafar or something? Mm. But, but it starts with a T. Don't know off the top of my head. Shouts to that guy. Shouts to you. I'm sure you're watching. <laughs> Just tweet at me. Be like, dude, you said my name wrong. I forgot it. I saw it somewhere. He's the character I want to see the most of, though. I love yeah, PTM. Me too. He's so fun to He's watch. He's an interesting, really interesting character design. Him, I think. Uh, you know who I, you know who I wish was taking was was, was still playing this game at no. a, at a intense level. Actually, the Buzz. I thought uh, the Buzz is Zim in the crew battle. Yeah. Um, in particular, was really impressive, and he was playing in a way that I think was very different from how sure. a lot of the other strong players are playing. So Zim, I think, is really cool. Um, I think Reptar. I think if Core with some patches, Cora and Toph could be really interesting characters. I don't think they're there right now. Sure. Yeah. You know, but um, again, right? L uh, Ludosity has shown that they they really want to kind of keep their eye on the game and keep their eye on the health of the meta and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm really interested to see the future of where, where some of these characters are. Land. It feels like uh, Korra and Toph are just sort of, the way that they're designed is so grounded. So grounded, they're yeah. ground characters yeah. and the game is so aerial. So I it's like, hope, how do you fix I it, hope you know? they take those characters and they make, and they buff their strengths Hmm. And really, I, I, I want to see I want to see characters like that. Like what the buzz kind of showed us with the glimpse with Zen. Sure, you can succeed with this character playing in a very different style than the way that a lot of the other top characters right. succeed. Uh, I, I hope they find a way to do that where they can keep that spirit of like we don't belong in this game, but we're actually really strong. That would be that would be cool. I was thinking with Toph, like I was kind of thinking like what could this character use? I want to see some like Minecraft Steve style stuff. I want her to be sure. able to go in the air. And like make a, you know, imagine she could make a platform and then actually end a combo with like a grounded smash tag in the air. Yeah. There's not enough sure. hits done to do that right now, but something like that would kind of be neat. I don't know. That was kind of my thought process. With I think it. it'd be cool if she could ground people too, because like she's oh, the sure. grounded character, yeah. and like if everybody's jumping. But uh, guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. before we go, we wanted to just show you this one more time. We've got merch available for a limited time only. This is some of the greatest hits from BTS. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could see some of the classics that we have. I was uh, actually about to wear that sandbag uh, sweater here. I love that shirt oh, so much. Oh, that's a fun one. Yeah, it's uh, great. Got to tell you, if you're um, if you're on the market for some of these uh, these merch items, let me tell you, if you get any of those hoodies, they're all insanely comfortable, and I urge you to not put them through your dryer. Because if you don't, <laughs> seriously, hang dry, hang dry your Summit hoodies, and they will stay really soft and really comfortable forever. But you know when you when you because when you put them through machine dry that material it kind of puffs not puffs right, up but yeah. it gets it, a little it, it pills that's a the word bit. that's yeah, the yeah, word yeah. that's the word so a little pro tip for all of y'all there you go cop the summit hoodies they're insanely com they're insanely comfortable and then uh, just make sure you hang dry them. yeah absolutely pro tip. guys thank you so much for joining us for Nickelodeon All Star Brawl Top Four mm. we're gonna head out and get set up for Ultimate Top Eight which is coming up right after this don't go anywhere we'll see you soon.